this game. First shot of the game goes in for the Alabama Crimson Tide. It's number 32, uh, Leah Nye, who puts it in. Quickly the other way, Brittany Davis scores. So the Crimson Tide quickly with five points to start this contest. Alabama in the maroon unis, Utah in the home whites. Hannah Barber triggers a three and knocks it down. And you can already see that Alabama wants to set the, the tempo of this game. They're getting up and down the court, scoring. They've scored from three, layup. They're just trying to get out in transition and go. Peely turns around and puts it in. The Southern Cal transfer. And pardon me, that other three a moment ago is Sarah Ashley Barker, the junior for the Crimson Tide. There's Brittany Davis, a lefty. A loose ball on the floor picked up by Alabama momentarily, but Utah has it back. The Utes come in ranked 17th in the country in the newest polls released earlier today. Gianna Neepkins, number five in white. Pay attention to her. We highlighted her at the top. Jenna Johnson, the sophomore from Minnesota. Yeah, she certainly has provided a huge boost for Utah in her first season already. And there's a kindly bounce. Jenna Johnson, who controls, hands off to Gianna Neepkins. Good defense from the Tide. A layup in the lane, Brittany Davis. Wow, she is off and sprinting. Six points for Davis. Neepkins answers back to South Florida. Mingo Young hit three threes in the game. So watch out for her. Loyal McQueen. Both teams are red hot from the floor. Utah is three of four, Alabama's six of nine. They get seven of nine. Abrams lost it. Neepkins surges ahead. Dumb saw for Jenna Johnson. 17th ranked Utah. Wide open in the corner. No dice on the rainbow three from Isabel Palmer. And the put back from. Brittany Davis attacks down the right alley. Banks it in. Top of Kelsey Reese, who's six foot five. Davis has eight points. Gianna Neepkins. That is her first three of the game. And her 12th of the season comes in shooting 46% from three. Tied answer though. Loyal McQueen. Not related to Kennedy McQueen, who is on Utah, by the way, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Neepkins. Lines up again. Same spot, same um, Gianna Neepkins. She'll shoot behind that screen anytime. If you give her just a little bit of space, the defender cannot go under a screen when they're guarding her. You have to go over that every time because she'll shoot that. We'll see if Alabama makes that adjustment. Loyal, Loyal McQueen responds with her third field goal. This has been some type of pace. Neepkins, heat check. Wow. For Gianna Neepkins, the sophomore from Duluth, Minnesota. It's cold up there. I'm sure it's maybe below freezing. It is hot down here in the Bahamas. And so is she with three triples. Time since 2011. And won their first round matchup against Arkansas. So Lynn Roberts has this team moving in the right direction. I got eight players back from last year's squad. Three-pointer drops. Turnover. 
Aliyah Nye has been a factor early. Nye rises, fires! Three games, made three threes. This game, she's made four threes. And that's how it happens sometimes. And it only takes that one game to maybe turn the corner. Peely answers out of the timeout. Thirty four twenty five lead for the Crimson Tide. Loyal McQueen. Wow, what a dump off inside the Jada Rice. A nifty shovel pass from McQueen. Peely uses her body, Rice, to put it in. Eight points for Alyssa Peely. Two minutes into this second quarter, right down Main Street. Brittany Davis, nobody stepped in front. And she's in double figures with 10. Nice left-handed finish for Davis right there. Big ball movement from the youths. Healy throws it up top to Jenna Johnson. Eight on the shot clock for Utah. Got to go. Four to shoot. Palmer dumps off Peely. Utah runs a lot of dribble handoff, driving kick action, and that's hard to guard um, for, for any team, really, and for them to run it down to the clock like that, that's tough. What makes that so tough to guard is McQueen hits. The defense really has to communicate on that because you have to talk. Are you going to switch the screen? Are you going to stay? And then you have to have help side because they're driving and kicking so often. You have to have help side on all of those drives. And so it's easy to get caught up. Her most recent field goal now. She is 5 of 6 from the floor, keeping Utah within striking distance, along with Gianna Neepkins, who has 11 points. And there is Gianna Neepkins, rainbow. Couple of opportunities here for the Utes. They made their last five shots from the floor, make it. Abrams does do a great job scoring in the basket, or scoring around the basket, but in that instance, you have two defenders on you. You gotta find where your open man's at. Skip pass to Deja Young. Drives down the left lane and scores. And it is a 41-40 Utah lead. First lead of the game for the Utes. And they are on an 11-0 run. Davis finally ends the drought. But they've got the lead, 42-41. Aliyah Nye ahead to Brittany Davis. Now Hannah Barber, a three, splash. Goes back into this game, but you can see that Alabama's trying to make those adjustments and not letting them get into the paint so easily. Certainly have to do that when you've got Jenna Johnson, Gianna Neepkins, and Alyssa Peely. There's a th the freshman from Salt Lake City, Utah. Hits her third field goal of the season. Pardon me, I was looking at free throws. She averages nine points per game. Loyal McQueen heads up the floor. The junior from Florence, South Carolina, transferred from Georgia Tech. Good footwork, and McQueen, a lefty as well. Gianna Neepkins. Kennedy McQueen, no relation to Loyal. Paced game so far. Good pass from Mingo Young finds half of action. It is Alabama and Utah. 52 48 lead for the Crimson Tide. Ashley, what did you take away the most from 
the first half of action. Uh, just an offensive or an offensive outpouring, excuse me, from both. Yeah, Alabama shot in that first half a high clip, 62 percent. Utah, not too far behind, 59 percent. Alvia Nye unleashes and knocks down the three. Picking Five up right, threes. Picking up right where she left off uh, in the first half. Hasn't missed a beat at all. Yeah, five threes now, Ashley. That's uh, quite impressive after she came in with just three threes made in the first three. Wow. Alyssa Peely, the junior, puts it in on the other end. Seven point lead for Alabama. Brittany Davis, downhill, the left hand. She has 17 points, very efficient too. Eight of 10 from the floor. Kennedy McQueen connects on a three. How about the three point shot this afternoon for these two teams? Here's a takeaway. Alyssa Peely, the Southern Cal transfer lays it. Alabama has used the three point line to its advantage today. They are seven for 11, that is 64%. Hannah Barber, tough shot. Loyal McQueen as well, who had 10 points off the bench for Alabama in the first half. Peely bobbles it. Finds wide open underneath Jenna. That's only the fifth missed three of the game a moment ago from Alabama. If you were to just watch the game without knowing the score, you'd almost think Utah might be leading the game because they've been able to score so consistently. Alabama's more so than. All tied at 63. Jemiah Mingo Young facilitates in the corner. Megan Abrams, 10 to shoot for Alabama. Davis, full head of steam. Rice bounces four times on Oklahoma, 124-78, a statement before coming to the Bahamas. Made 13 threes in that game. Drive, bucket. Here, layup for Davis, no dice though. And Utah moves the other way, trying to increase their lead. Here is Young, Deja Young. Final 30 seconds and change in the third. Utah has put their foot down on this third quarter, 24-13, favoring the Utes. Deja Young. Shot clock turned off. Christy Curry in her 10th season as the head coach at Alabama, barking out orders on the sideline. McQueen hits a three. Oh, did Alabama need that? They were 0 for their last five from the floor, and it will take that momentum as that is good. It actually went up and good before shot the, the game clock ran out. Wow. What impressed you the most about the Utes? They were able to get stops on defense, and that led to their offensive outpouring. Uh, we discussed it earlier, but this game is really going to come down to who wants it more on the defensive end and who can get stops. Deflected. Gianna Neepkins puts it up, and offensive foul. Utah has climbed back into this and grabbed the lead. Good drive and take from Hannah Barber. But yeah, who else? Five to shoot for the Crimson Tide. Great deflection. Deja Young dumps off for Neepkins to lead Utah, who has grown this lead to 11, their largest of the game. 
with Aaliyah Nye not out there as Abrams scored. So Alyssa Peely off the ball just picked up her fourth foul and she comes off the floor. 81-74 lead for Utah as Abrams. Reese secures the rebound. That was just the second missed free throw of the game for Abrams. She's five of seven. Five point lead for Utah. They have led the majority of this second half. Kennedy McQueen backs up, finds Jenna Johnson now in the low post. It's Reese who leaks from beyond the arc. But Aliyah Nye, who hit, who hit five of those threes, has not returned to the floor since she went down at mid-third quarter. So Megan Abrams, somebody that has stepped up, she's got 13 points now, and the lead is seven for the Utes, but time is of the essence. Good cut from Kennedy McQueen. Gotta love that. Abrams floats it up and scores. Who made five threes earlier in this game before she left mid-third with an apparent injury. We're not sure exactly what type of injury it is, but hopefully it's nothing serious. Brittany Davis lifts it up and scores. Alyssa Peely scurries down the left lane and she hits the deck hard. Certainly know that Virginia Tech coming into this Pink Flamingo Championship certainly making a name for themselves. If they're able to pull out this victory, especially after what they did on November 16th, scoring 124 points, tying a program record for points in a game. Loyal McQueen is fouled. Free throws have been impressive <laughs> from the field in Utah, shooting 58. Um, it's, it's been an offensive outpouring, and that's what we talked about, that it, that's what it would be. A minute, eight seconds and counting. Five-point lead for Utah. And a near takeaway from Alabama. That would have been clutch. Tough catch inside. Jenna Johnson, great job shielding off the smaller Abrams. And a timeout taken. Twenty-five point six seconds left. Alabama as a team coming into this game, 75% from the free throw line. And a jump ball. It's also a season high. 27 made free throws so the Utes have been doing their work in practice getting that free throw stroke right and it has paid off here in the Bahamas Utah moves to 5-0 and on the season with a 93-86 victory over the Alabama Crimson Tide